Hey everyone, Brendan Snyder here. How are you? Got my good friend What's Anthony up, joining me, and we are doing a record store day preview run through here. Yup. So uh, April twenty second, this coming Saturday, lots and lots of cool stuff yeah. coming out. Some cool rarity stuff, some first release, a little yep. bit of everything. But um, we got a bunch of it to run through, but. There's still stuff trickling in. There's so much stuff trickling in. This is probably the latest that Record Store Day has uh, sent stuff since really? I've been here. Yeah, Usually normally we have a couple weeks, uh -huh. maybe one or two items that come in the week of mm -hmm. or the week before. We're getting, I mean, half yeah. of our order still. You just got some shipments in today on this that hasn't yeah, been checked man. in. So it's, it's, yeah, yeah. And, and tomorrow I'm going to have more stuff. And right, right. It's going to be titles that we're not going to show you today. Right. Because we can't. You know? <laughs> we so don't have it. If it was more, it was excess. <laughs> right, right, right. But it's Absolutely. not excess. It's more right. titles. Well, we got three crates of stuff here we're going to run through and get you guys caught up on some of the cool things that you can get. Uh, we'll let's start with this yeah, first. Yeah, let's start with this. It's right. my favorite stuff, the CDs. <laughs> or the Pearl Jam giveaway CD. Yeah, live album uh, from the Promo Yield only tour. Right, a, not a full. I mean, it, it's an entire show, but it's missing tracks. Oh, okay. But it's not a comp of the Australian shows. It's from one show. From one show. Nineteen ninety-eight, March fifth. Still, it's great. Seventeen previously unreleased tracks. I just like the thing that uh, in Australia, instead of Yield, it's called Give Way. Give That's way. their sign. So. I thought that was a pretty cool thing. Original that. CDs of that it, go it, for hundreds of dollars. Really? Yeah. And and there's a vinyl version of this. There too. is a two LP version of that also. Right, we'll see that in a bit. Um, Ringo. Yeah, this is just putting one of his albums, Stop and Smell the Roses, back in print. I know I don't have it for my collection. LP so replica, your favorite? Yep. I'm gonna be picking one of those up. Eric right. Carr. And yeah, Eric Carr. Uh Kiss. Uh the Fox, right? And uh, doing a solo album of his that's actually been out under some different names, but they're doing some cool artwork with it, making it look like the Kiss solo. Which is kind of cool, releases. yeah. I like that. I'm going to have to pick one so of those up too. Just, too, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, we have Larry Mullins and Ooh. Mike What? I did not know they had done something. Is this, well, is this... Are you excited about that? I, I am now. Yeah. I wasn't uh, keeping an eye on that. TV odd. So is this, oh, the uh, Stooges song. Yeah, yeah. Limited to 1,000 copies. Dedicated to the Stooges, it says on here. All right. Very Mike cool. Mike D, the Beastie Boys, uh, curated this set. It is the Brazilian something, something, something 45 set. Okay. So there's five, seven inches in there with some of Mike D's favorite shit, which is, <laughs> you know, to, to get a clue of if, why the Beastie Boys are what they are, anytime one of these guys curate something right. that you want to know. I like those kind of things. I like when, yeah. when uh, musicians I'm a fan of put something together and I can sit down and go, this is what they it's like. fucking cool. Yeah, yeah man. Very cool. All right. So, we have the do, sword. Has a... Do the lightning round? Release out. Yeah, we're going to try to do <laughs> lightning round. Um, so, this is the 15th anniversary of Gods okay. of the Earth. Anything remastered. special? Remastered. It's, it's probably probably colored. Remastered. It's got the... Uh, it's got the gold foil sort of... Foilish uh, cover. Right. Okay. All right. We've got Tangerine Dream. Yeah. I saw that. probably put them back, back in, in, in yep. order, right? Let's, right. Let's do that. Well, Try to keep this in order so that it'll be ready for Tangerine you guys. Tangerine Dream you come. live in Paris. Three LP set. Exclusive. Seven. Nice. All right. Live in is Paris. That, is that from color? 78. Oh, yeah. Split yeah. color. Split color vinyls. On Some that. people say that when you have split color, you can hear the needle actually going between the colors. Now, I've yet to hear I, that. It's I probably think just, some just asshole in their head. head. It's an asshole who needs color <laughs> yeah, vinyl. Exactly. It's a purist. <laughs> but what about the color vinyl purist? See, that's part of the problem, right? Right. right. Like the the black vinyl purists and then there's color. color vinyl purists, purists right, right right color that guy hates that fucking guy. guy and this guy hates that guy why can't we all just get along who cares you're buying music shut right. up <laughs> all right uh taproot think about it <laughs> i know they're a band i'm waiting that, for him to say they, something you're waiting for me to say something hey man you know what for the taproot fans out there yeah you're gonna be stoked if this is put out i don't right. know if it was ever on vinyl before <laughs> But it's, uh, it was uh, it's a vinyl debut. Yeah, light blue vinyl pressing, limited to sixteen hundred copies, with printed inner sleeve. I remember when that record came out. That shit was all yeah. over the, the, the radio. And, right. Uh, DHA out here in Jersey just mm -hmm. played the shit out of Tap. Yeah. This is the early two thousands. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So they were they were huge. Right. They're still putting stuff out. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar enough with them to talk shit. <laughs> it doesn't mean we can't. Though. <laughs> That's why I'm not. I picked up the next record. All right. So Coco, Coco Taylor. This is exciting to me because this is something right up my alley. This All is right. funky. It's soulful. It's fucking dirty. It's mm -hmm. raw. So uh, I know 
you know, original copies are hard to find clean. It really, the reissues mm -hmm. that have been put out are all right, but this is, uh, you know, let's see, what, what are they saying here? Uh, da, 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 da. It's just, it's just red mm -hmm. and uh, a vintage promo flyer, but who gives a shit? You're not going to buy it for that. <laughs> buy it because this album kind of kicks ass, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anthony recommendation there. Yeah. Uh, Temptations. I know you'll recommend this one. I will yeah. definitely recommend this because it's also a cool record. Mm -hmm. So Temptations reissue. I've noticed that a lot of the Motown stuff the last since yeah. last record store day right. is reissuing. Oh. So I'm going to turn off my ass for a minute because my phone's digging. <laughs> so ass my ass is... Um, so I like that. Uh, yeah. I know Smokey got reissued last time. Mm -hmm. Supremes got reissued. There was another Temptation. So maybe, and you know, at a fair price, it's 25 bucks. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And it sucks to say that 25 bucks on the record is fair price when you could probably find this at a yard sale for a dollar to five dollars. <laughs> but for those of you who don't give a shit about that and you just want the record, anything that Motown's putting out mm -hmm. now, grab it because it's, yeah. it's just cool, man. Yeah. Uh, Peter Tosh, a live Peter Tosh. Ah, 76 in Boston. Cool. Yeah, First time gonna, on vinyl. I'm interested in hearing that. What I like Peter Tosh. Is? So now when I see everyone's, I just, don't everyone's know. putting out live stuff, and now you Because they ran out of shit. Yeah, so now they're scraping the bottom of the barrel. And so I found out you really have to like check things out in advance yeah. before just going, oh, great, live album and grabbing it. There's a yeah. reason it hasn't come out for 46 years. Yes. Right. I yeah. don't know if that's this, but, but we, we found that out about the Neil Young. So. <laughs> Somebody came in today, yeah, and they said, oh, I heard your review on that Neil Young, so I'm just going to leave that one alone. <laughs> You're like, damn it. Oh, fuck, He man. shot myself in the foot. <laughs> but, but he bought the yeah. Ducks, right? and then he bought one of the older yeah. Neil Young. Hey, but I know a lot of people really appreciated that. You I can't honest, lie to you, man. Yeah, you know, it's a, And I said to the guy, right. are you a completist? He's like, yeah. yeah. I said, then you got to buy it. it. I know. But either way, man, <laughs> this I'm excited about, T-Rex. Yep. So this was a Japanese-only release. Came out in whatever year. Early First time it's right? ever been reissued. An original LP of this, oh, no, never so, on so CD. 70, 73 Japanese-only compilations. Goes yep. way back. Hundreds. Yeah. I mean, talking two, three hundred bucks for a copy of this. Oh wow. Um, so Got what's cool about this right is that a, like the singles around the time of the album Tanks, mm -hmm. T A N X. Yes, I love that. This album. has them. Oh, cool. right. Plus a couple of uh, Eight, album cuts. Eighteen so, tracks. Yeah, so side A is the singles that didn't mm -hmm. make it on Tanks. And I, I'm drawing a blank on yeah. the other album that was around that time that these singles are from. So you're going to get, number one, you're getting mm -hmm. 20, 20th Century Boy on here, which yeah. you're not getting on a record, right? Right, right. So it, it sounds great. The Groover, 20th This is cool. Boys, Find Solid this Gold, shit, man. Children of the Revolution, Metal Guru. Yeah. yeah all the good stuff. And, yeah. you know, he was famous for putting out his best songs, not on his the records. Singles. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> so... It's like Slate. You buy it. You buy the uh, the albums, and it doesn't have any of the greatest hits on it. Yes, you got to buy the greatest hits because they were only yep. singles. Yeah. So yeah. grab this if you don't have a T Rex comp, Ooh. and you're looking for the shit around seventy one to seventy three. This mm -hmm. is yours. All right, UFO. Yeah, another comp. Right? That's thick. Yeah, two two LP. Oh, but look at that. No, that's cut. one. Is that a two LP? Yeah, it says two LP on the front. But look at this, look how thick that is. That's I see that. one of them. So this is a big, fat, thick LP, but it's a two LP set, UFO, if you're into that thing. Oh, it's yeah. the best of UFO. Right. Thank God it's not a picture disc, but it's, it's actually kind of cool packaging. But it's yellow. Yeah. It's yellow. All right. Uh, digital Ghost, limited edition. Who's Digital Ghost? Do we know? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Have yeah, a look at that guy. He looks like he's uh, in pain there. Oh, it's Under Oath. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know anything. So the, uh, Under Oath, we have... Okay. Uh, oh, the Verve, the Verve pipe. Villains. Gotta pull them up higher. Get them into the screen. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. I'm just realizing it wasn't coming in. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay. You're good. You're Another good. anniversary just... issue of the. If you're a picture disc fan and you like the Violent Femmes, there you go. And nice. Again, with the, we've discussed the upgrade on picture discs right. through the years. You won't be disappointed, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, most likely. Right. But yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, this record is definitely something that everybody should have in their oh, record collection. That, that is that, um, a must-have. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ooh, Muddy, Muddy Waters. Waters. Never Hollywood before Blue Summit. Concert recording from 71. Another one. Another. <laughs> Another. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> a Muddy Waters Woodstock album. This is pretty cool. He put a reissue. At, not at the Woodstock. This no, is this is just a record. Location. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else do we have? The Wonder Years? The Wonder Years. Is that the name of a band? That's the name of a band, not uh, the TV, TV show. TV show, okay. Uh, I Know Nothing. I don't either. I don't Fly know from New to York. Shit. It's out there if you guys are interested. I know people a lot of people are wanting are, to... Are, people want to murder over this record. It right? This is one of the I, biggest calls I get, is this. Really? Yeah, and it's yeah. super limited. So if you're into it, 
if you're not into it and mm -hmm. you're looking to make money, don't do it. For don't that. fucking buy yeah, it. Yeah, don't steal it from other people. I, I know there's people that really want this record. So that's the thing. If you're if you're lining up for record store day, don't be a dick. <laughs> don't buy it for resale. Buy yeah. it because you want it and save the yeah. shit that you don't want for the guy that wants it. Exactly. Uh, so these are some cool comps. I'm always into these. I always mm -hmm. order heavy. They never fucking sell. I end up getting <laughs> stuck with them. But I like them. So this is uh, this is the Soul. This is the okay. Ska Soul Rocksteady. Okay. From Soul Jazz Records. Mm -hmm. This is just a straight Ska comp. These are all reissues. All right. This one might be my favorite, though. So Soul Jazz, who's known for yeah. reggae, dance hall, right. rock steady, Ska, is doing a New York City comp. So this is some just of the hottest, craziest fucking dance tracks yeah, cool. that you went to those underground clubs in 81, 82 right. and danced your ass off to. That's this comp. Get this comp. Oh, nice. This is cool, it man. Does sound cool. Yeah, this is super cool. You got Bush Tetris on there, it's all so. Yeah, <laughs> Liquid Liquids on there. All right, this is a huge favorite. Everybody's gonna want this. 4 LP live right here, right Four now. LP. First time on LP. And one it's of remastered. the first remastered, one of the first ever Sammy reissues. Right. Period. Period. Um, so I know people are gonna be ringing next to get this. Absolutely. Did I not hold Look up high enough? Again? No, no, you did. Oh. I was just showing them how thick this thing is. You said it's thick. Yeah, I like it thick. <laughs> the rumors are going to start again, man. Right, right. <laughs> All right. John Lennon 10 inch box set. Cool. I, 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 this had been planned for a while mm -hmm. because. Um, In order to get that press. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, McCartney did it, but McCartney did it with 87 inches. Yeah. He's, all this is is the give me the truth on 10 inches, super limited. I mean, so is it, oh, it's 36 songs. Okay. Yeah. Nine super EPs. limited, man. Yeah. Uh, if you're a, a Lennon fan, uh, get it. It's yeah. cool. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. And they are hand numbered also yeah. out of 1500. Out of 50. Ooh. All, All right. All right. One crate down. Let's see what we got here. Now, right. I got to really pick these up, don't yeah, I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Macho man, oh, be a really man. Savage. Snuck into a slim gym. <laughs> Is that a song? No, <laughs> no right. He, he wasn't doing be. slim gyms by no, then. Not yet, but he should. I would, I would like to maybe one day we'll just do a video uh -huh. of us making up what we think the songs would They're sound like. <laughs> the lyrics. Song. I'm back. Are you ready? <laughs> Hit the floor. Let's get it on. Remember me. <laughs> like, Is that Macho Man singing a ballad? Tear it up, Macho Thang. I just want to know if he's going to sing in the Randy Macho Man sound. Yeah, he's like, got to. Yeah. Be a man. Get back. Feel the madness. What's that all about? Going to be trouble. My perfect friend. Is he talking about Miss Elizabeth? Is that after or before he beat the <laughs> oh, shit out of wow. her? It's after. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> there you go. You <laughs> got some Randy. Madness. Another uh, B-side oh, yeah, comp. Cool. This is uh, round two, I believe. Right. Volume three. Volume three. Shit. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Uh, so two, one and two were done in previous years. They're not part of this year. Yes. Okay. Post Malone, 12 inch. Ooh. Fucking 12 inches. <laughs> so, uh, Modesky, Martin, and Wood. I like them. That's I just good. like saying Wood because I'm an asshole. I'm still a child at heart. <laughs> Vinyl debut. Oh, Dazzling I forgot the Ian McCullough. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that. All right. Midnight's. No clue. Not, not familiar with them either. Eddie Money covers. We know nothing about no, this, know, but yeah. it's Eddie Money, and hopefully it's Eight not the same bullshit classic songs that they gave us with that last greatest I hits. I know, I know. It's uh, Train and the Beatles, ACDC, the Four Tops. It really gets around. Green Day covers on here, When I Come Around. When did he have time to record that before passing? <laughs> I don't remember any of these covers, so had he been intending Fuck. to release this stuff? I don't oh, I know, so, it worries uh, me. Uh, another Ennio Amori Cone. Yeah, Sapa? the guy who did all the uh, Clint Eastwood Western. Oh. So it's another soundtrack of his. People are into that. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Big's first album reissued on fancy color vinyl. On um, blue. Okay. Is it blue? Yeah. Sol no, solid, solid blue. Solid blue. Not translucent blue. All right. And we have Nas. Made you look. <laughs> another live record. God's son. This is going to be cool. Stevie Nicks, Belladonna yeah. Live, 1981. This was originally only Laserdisc and VHS. Uh, this was also released for the first time audio-wise on uh -huh. the deluxe edition of Belladonna okay. from 2016. Yeah. Yeah. Now we get the live show here. On vinyl. Sounds fantastic. Time. Cool. Definitely. It's Stevie. Yeah, you were spinning? Yeah, you got to get it. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Nico, live. What else? Live you at the from library. Nico? From 1980. What library? Oh, the library. <laughs> circa, cool. New York it just says library. Manchester, England. Circa 1980. They have no idea what the No. <laughs> might not even be from the library. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Nuggets box set. This is uh, 50th anniversary. 70 tracks. I believe wow. there's extra shit on here that hasn't been on the others. Getting some but, bad reflection in there on the, the sun. Yeah, people are excited <laughs> about this. I'm slightly excited about it. I love the Nuggets collections. There's Old Dirty Bastard. Uh -huh. It's been out of print for a while, so they put it out as a picture disc. That's cool. Yep. I like the way that is. 1995 is, yeah, debut. Return to the 36 Chambers. Our Lady Peace. Nice. I believe that's the greatest hits. Collected, yep. Celebrating 30 years. Die cut. Charlie Parker. Oh. The Lost the Bird. Runners. The Lost Bird. <laughs> the Long Lost Bird. Live Afro Q Cubop recordings. Uh, Dolly oh. Parton singles. She's getting popular again. What's up with that? Making a metal album. Is she? Yeah, with Get Rob. Get the fuck Hal out of here. Yeah, Rob Halford is uh, singing with her on it. I don't know why that made me have to pee. <laughs> all of a sudden, I got the urge to urinate. <laughs> I'm not sure. sure. Well, I don't mean that negatively. I could sound like I want to piss on something. That's not what I'm no, saying. No, no. I, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. You got that. excited. You had to pee a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and Dolly Parton making a metal album. <laughs> There's that there Pearl Jam. Is. There you go. PJ, CD or vinyl, your preference. Pixies. Ooh. Another live Pixies. Yeah. It's, oh, uh, live do, in Brussels. Brussels. Do they have a, a demos collection too, or it's just this one? Just that. I didn't oh, see okay. any other Pixie stuff. Uh, I was confusing it with something else, I think. But 2009. Doolittle. So it's the entire Doolittle album Done live. and other shit. Nice. PM Dawn reissue. I haven't heard of them in a long time. I right about them. I like them back in the day. Yeah, Early it was. 90s. It was. It was sentimental. It was soft yet hard. What's with the cover though? It's all like shitty. Uh, yeah, it's like it looks like it's been blown up from a CD. It's and exactly it's, what it's been done, but it doesn't fuck with the audio quality. Well, it's that's pretty good. cool, man. But I hate when they do. So, like, yeah, they, thirty they, year yeah. anniversary. So probably not even remastered because it doesn't say it on it. <laughs> There's got to be software though that can like take that with the AI. You would and think so. It up and the problem is they don't in. give a shit. Yeah. Did I say that out loud? We did. So I actually like Poe. Yeah, I like um, This is the first the time I think that this has been first available on vinyl. LP. The her second album was on LP a couple it records store days Black ago. Vinyl. It doesn't call it like Midnight Vinyl or something. Yeah, it was a cool record. Now I saw this tour live. Uh, it was right spring summer or something it was hot it was on the too. pier down where the pier 17 is now but yeah. maybe a little little closer a little up westmore right. and it was them republica a whole bunch of oh, shit that yeah. was big in 95 96 mm -hmm. and i remember that after i saw her live i yeah. wasn't able to listen to this record why because she was so much heavier and fucking oh, harder live yes and i put on a record yeah where did it go, go. but now i can re-listen to the record and still love this first that. album yeah it was cool man i had, had roughly the same experience as that being like wait wh what's going on here? yeah and i think the second album did get a lot heavier if I remember yes correctly. yes and then that killed it because everybody wanted the pop thing prefab sprout i just like steve mcqueen <laughs> i watched the steve mcqueen movie this weekend yeah the last one uh the hunter okay cool movie you should watch it all right. Another recommendation from Anthony. Elvis Presley, Burn in Love, the RCA rehearsals for some shit. Uncle Burn in Love. This seems like it's going to be cool. Oh, Prince Rakim. That's RZA from Wu-Tang before he was RZA. But he was just Prince Rakim. I wonder if he had a hand in this. I mean, because, you know, 20 years ago, he wouldn't, I, I could, I don't think he would have put this out. Right. Ooh, I love you. Right. Now, he, nobody fucking cares yeah, right, anymore, right? right? This is what I was. Maybe uh -huh. you want to hear it. Because it's, even though I might not support it, it's uh -huh. where I was, it's what I started At from. That so, time, right. Yeah. So, I, he probably doesn't own it and somebody else is putting it out to cash in. Yeah. Ooh, I love you, Rakim. Deadly Venoms and Sexcapades. I, it's probably hard. It's probably hard as fuck. <laughs> it's got to be, man. Yeah. It's risen. It's like the cover, though. <laughs> Susie Quattro. Oh, nice. So what's cool about this is that I believe the actual single version mm -hmm. of The Wild One's on here. Not the album version, because if you know the song, oh, The Wild One, it does that song rips. Yes. And then you buy the album, and you play the song, and you say, wait a minute. Right. What the? F what is this? <laughs> so you get 
You get a the last song on side four you after a mix. ten minute version. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh. Where is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Track four. Oh, That's right. I forgot there was a dry mix. Yeah. Um, so the wild one single version. Nice. That's worth I mean, it. Right it's a, still a cool. It's a cool ass record, mm -hmm. man. It's, but to get that, not have to search out the forty five. Right. All right, the Ramones. Woo. Some more alternates. Yeah, I was excited about this. This is uh, the Pleasant Dream, New York City mixes. I like that record a lot. I do too. Rough and almost ready Ramones. Unreleased works in progress from the Ramones' sixth album produced by Graham Goldman. We think it's going to be nonsense or we think it's going to be cool? I hope not. I hope it's not nonsense. Nah, it probably just sounds exactly the same. I mean, because I like I've when heard they... their demos and they don't sound any different than the final recordings. I know. So, Un but unreleased works in progress. Yeah, when it says works in progress, is it the full me... song? I hope it's a full song. I do too. Don't don't give me like a, a one minute jam and then oh, I've right or, or you know the tape wasn't rolling for the right. first thirty seconds of a forty five <laughs> yeah, second they fit, song. They faded in. Yeah, man. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, the residents. Oh, that that is a band I've never been able to get into. No, I, I love their stage outfits and everything, but I've tried listening to some of it and I just I don't get it. It's just mm. not for me. Yeah. This is... Vintage Vinos. So this is just... Greatest Hits. This has already been out. Yeah. Uh, this is just a new version. <laughs> Three new lithographs on two-tone vinyl with a side four etching. Well, just give me the lithographs. I don't need to yeah, whatever. buy, buy right. the vinyl again. Yeah, that 2010-ish <laughs> that came out. Uh, the Rich oh, Kids. Rich Kids. All right, we all remember and know that we want this. Yeah. I don't remember who the fuck is in it. Oh, Glenn Matlock, Midge Urge, yep. uh, Steve New, Rusty Egan, and produced by Mick Ronson. So this was, uh, you know, fucking just rock and roll at its finest. Yeah. It's cool to have that back. 45th anniversary edition. God damn it. Newly it remastered. Long? I know. It's fucking old. But it's I produced am. by Mick Ronson. Yeah, one year. I kind of only want me. it because it's Mick Ronson. Uh, yeah. Not like a Glenn Matlock. I like all little projects he did like that. And look, it's $24. Yeah. That's cool, That's, man. Yeah. I can dig that. That may, may be going in my cart. Another Ooh, Jonathan. Jonathan Richman. Yeah. It's cool. I just shake my head like that because there's so many. It's well, like we keep yeah. getting them. And the more that they come out, right. the less people buy them. Bottom of the barrel, right? Yeah. yeah. Like if you know your Jonathan. So, all right, you put your record store day stuff out. Right. Right? Just because the store bought it doesn't mean it's sold. So why doesn't yeah. record stores reach out to the stores that can't return the product instead of knowing that mm -hmm. all the distributors sold out of their shit? True. You guys should swap. Call the stores, man. Yeah. Hey, what do you guys have left over? Right. Let's. Swap so some maybe stuff. you can next time say, mm -hmm. okay, or maybe I'm fucking right. wrong. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just not selling in New Jersey. Right. But maybe the stores in the Midwest and the the West Coast are selling it, but right. They don't know because they're going with the distributors. True. True. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Max Roach, Archie Shep, oh, cool. Jazz People, 76. The Rockfords. This was a sh uh, short lived, possibly going to happen again because right. of this reissue. Right. This Mike McCready from Pearl Jam. Yep. So this is Pearl Jam related. Uh, Artie from Long Gone Day loves this fucking band. Yeah. I don't get it I at all. To it. I listen to it. I have it in the collection because Mike McCready, but it doesn't do much for me. Artie would almost almost take this over Pearl Jam. That's how in love what? with this he is. He shoved this down my throat when we were kids. And I'm like, no, I can't take this. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just no, not it's my just, thing, man. But it spoke to him. and that's Yeah, really that's cool. so cool. Metallic red pressing. Why 2200? Yeah. Who picks that number? I know. All of these numbers. They're just odd. I mean, if they said 2000 <laughs> because it came out in 2000, I would be like, okay, I get it. Did that come out in 2000? Yeah. Get well, the fuck out of here. Flip it over. The 2000 album. Wow. I didn't think I, it was that old either. I thought it was older. Oh, no. Uh, just a special thing. Wait, do they put the color on here? Okay, you ready for this? 180 gram vinyl on swirling mass of blue, black, and white. <laughs> swirling mass? It's the mass? fucking worst one yet. Yeah. <laughs> we, we need to gather together all of these different weird ass names. That's the right? one. Swirling the mass. The Stones of fucking gray. won. They won. The Stones took number one on something else one more time. Right. That's. This the one. worst name. That is. <laughs> oh, man. I get a replica poster with it, though. It's got the original gatefold, so. Yeah. I give I mean, it's... a pass on the swirling mass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, live Romeo Void. I, I love this band. Yeah. I... Never heard them live. Yeah. So this is cool. I'm, okay. I'm excited for this. It's 25 bucks. 11 unreleased tracks, though. Uh, see, I, I 
feel like somehow something's gonna come back and just fucking bite me. <laughs> it's twenty five dollars. Okay. Never before released. That's cool. Yeah. It's thirty four dollars. It's been released. A been released times. a gajillion times. <laughs> We're all gonna buy it anyway. But that's okay because that's what we do. Right. But that's what back to you know. Like, we're not talking, we're pricing. We're not right, talking, right. this isn't a pricing video, but think about it. <laughs> What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Superstar pricing, Tom yes. Petty fought that. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's right. Not superstar pricing. I he, wish I wish this band could get the $30 price. Yeah, man. I'd rather I mean, go the other way around. That's a massive difference. Mm -hmm. So, use that information how you will. Yeah. RZ can just... RZA again. Yeah. His first solo album is Bobby Digital. This record's pretty cool, man. I recommend it. I highly, highly recommend anything by Raphael Zadik. This might be his finest moment because mm -hmm. this is the funkiest, most soulful solo album he's released after. Yeah. You know who? No. I'm not no. familiar, no. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, really? He he was a member of that? Yeah. I had no idea. Unless I'm totally wrong. Which which uh, Tony was he? I don't know. Oh. Steph, do you know which member of Tony, Tony, Tone Raphael Zadik was? Was he Tony, Tony, or Tone? Are you sure? Or are you just fucking saying that? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I, I wouldn't know the difference. Ted, do you know? What's your what's your vote? Was he Tony, Tony, or Tone? <laughs> He's just shaking his head. <laughs> I'm going to go with Steph and say Tone. I like that. Let's he go was with a Tone. That. Everybody else out there in the world. Can you can Google that while we're fucking around here? Because I'd like to know now. <laughs> Who was Raphael Sadiq and Tony, Tony, Tone? <laughs> Uh, Selector Live. 1980, cool. More live stuff. Exclusive live release. Uh, no, it's Sly and Robbie. Ah. I'm gonna buy yeah. any of the dub shit. Right. All the time. Mm -hmm. Cause a dub record's like post-punk. It doesn't matter. It's all good. It's just all good. Yeah. You put the record on. Double LP. I don't care if we know the difference in the songs from side A to side mm -hmm. D. It's just cool. And it just makes you feel good. You want to dance, you want to cook, you want to get naked, all this stuff, man. <laughs> Another excellent release. Oh, yeah, Soul Asylum. Full yeah. performance. Unplugged, 1993. It's done excellent is sound. It the MTV Great. Unplugged? It's the MTV oh, Unplugged, nice. man. Okay. It's the whole show. Yeah. This is something that's sought after. Get in line. Man, why is there get not it. a DVD included with this of the, the performance? Because nobody cares about DVDs. Uh, the Ringo Starr. Yep, saw that one. Okay. Did your pick? What's this one? The uh, Incense and Peppermints. That was Strawberry Alarm Clock. Yeah. Nice reissue. I don't think that's been and out. A limited edition. Is that uh, numbered? Three, oh, it's three, numbered. Yep, 3,000, not by hand. Sorry. I'm Machine stamps and gold. Turning it around, but that's kind of cool. Did we find out Tony, Tony, Tony yet? No, no, I didn't know he was dead. No, he's dead. Sadiq's not dead. Like, no, he's not. Oh, the, his life oh, just, just people that have died around him. All right, well, Donna Summer, a hot summer night. What do you think this is? Concert. A uh, concert. <laughs> what do you think? Anniversary uh, of that? Uh, Sun Ra, yeah. live show, 1980. The variety of stuff that comes out now through Record Store Day just kind of blows my mind. Yeah. So once upon a time, it was pretty straight ahead, what? rock and classic artists that were doing things. And now everybody's jumped on. I mean, you pointed out Motown's getting in on this and so forth. And it yeah. branches out much further than that. Why 1980? I don't Solo know. Solo Rhodes Piano. It's just him playing? Is that one of those things like where you went to go see it, you got up and walked out? <laughs> yeah, because it was just... just <laughs> maybe not. All right. All right. This is a big one, right? Do we have we? Like, I don't know if we've ever touched upon this, so let's just talk. Yeah. So people being in line, we've watched little girls walk away with tears in their eyes because they couldn't get a Taylor Swift record store day seven inch mm -hmm. because there's only a limited amount of really mm -hmm. a limited amount released. So Taylor, because I've seen it, I saw oh. the guy in line. Yeah. Buy it for resale. He doesn't give a shit. He's never going to listen to it. That poor right. girl at the back of the line, she wanted it because her parents didn't know to line her up early. They right. just heard Taylor Swift record. Right. Which is their fault for not doing research. Right. Right. So Taylor took all of this shit into account and said, hey guys, guess what? We're going to release over 100,000. So guess well, what? Record store You're all getting one. Wow. Everybody's fucking getting a Taylor Swift record this year. You're <laughs> not going to see it shoot up to one, hundreds you're... of dollars 
while some jerk off is waiting online hoping to oh, take it out of that cool. little girl's fucking hands. So I, you know, and you've got a bunch of them. So. From Sound Exchange, yeah. I say thank you, Taylor Swift. Yeah. That's freaking cool, man. That is cool. Yeah, this this is one of the her last release is one of the most heartbreaking and releases. Studio remixes from uh, yeah, the most recent album. Not or? remixes. Oh. Uh, it's the oh. sessions that oh, led up sessions. to okay. one folklore or ever more mm -hmm. more great great something. One of her. <laughs> uh, she just keeps popping up on my one of her post streaming service. <laughs> one, one of her uh, COVID releases. That's the sessions for. So oh, that's cool. kind of exciting. I like it when artists do that. Yeah, they take that stuff under account and screw the the people that are trying trying to capitalize on it. Keep getting further away from the fucking camera. <laughs> Let's, uh... <laughs> All right. This is the last call of the day. All right, we'll do two 10 inches. So we, we uh, have... What do we have? Switch sides. Give you more We have the... Mikey Dredd. Uh, the only reason... He's known Mikey in the Dredd. dub Who's reggae Mikey circle. Dredd? So uh, the his biggest claim to fame, not that he's not talented, is working with The Clash. Okay. Uh, specials. Goes hand in hand. Uh, just a seven inch, a uh, ten inch mm -hmm. of two works in progress. Jesus Christ, oh. are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> They're really getting to the bottom of the barrel <laughs> oh, with these man. things. It's madness. I, know, I mean, it could be cool. I guess if you're it's a not huge madness, fan. it's the specials. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a huge fan of You them, want that. I yeah, want exactly. it. I want to know what that shit sounds it's, like. It's like the Doors release uh, back in November where they took a song that had been partly recorded over by uh, Ray Manzarek's kid edited it all back together, and then built an entire album around it. And I bought it. I bought it. Yeah, so I mean, there's people that are going <laughs> to love, love that <laughs> as well. Um, <laughs> all right, The Addicts. There's not a lot. I mean, th their stuff starting to come back around, but Yellow they're a vinyl? great punk rock band, man. Yeah, um, I remember them. I'm just curious why, why they picked Fifth Overture for a release. Maybe it just hasn't been around in that long. Ted, do you know why they would have picked Fifth Overture by The Addicts of all Addicts records? Le right, the they could get the the license to it a lot cheaper than maybe. other albums. Usually, it comes down to and things like that. So, maybe it's also a way. Let's just say mm -hmm. that this is a way for a band like the Addicts, who may not have the rights to their shit, or it's tied right. up in litigation, right. or it's just floating around for them to start to get their rights back. back. So maybe record store. But that's the positive way to look at it, right? Which is kind of cool. And because it's a mid '80s record, as long as it's the it band just, that's doing it, and it's not the label skirting yeah. around them where they're not getting any of the proceeds from it's it. Fallout Records. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess but we that's, will. Right? That's an interesting way to look at it. Agnostic Front. Oh. United Blood LP, 40th anniversary, 19 song expanded edition. Yes. So there's some alternates on there. <laughs> Unfinished take, alternate take. <laughs> so I mean, man, everyone's going with the. It's, a, it's Agnostic it's, Front. The, well, I, I, which is going to be really short. <laughs> yeah, that whole that an unfinished take for a song that's normally only one all fourteen or songs are on side A, <laughs> yeah, side exactly. B's and etching. I'm just kidding. Um, another Allman Brothers right? live in Pittsburgh, which has been out definitely on CD. Yes, right. Okay, first LP. But, they're starting to dig back and okay, which is okay. I'm just surprised it didn't already come out on. Okay. Uh, Tori Amos B-Sides to Little Earthquakes. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's not... I thought it was the album itself. No, because they just reissued that as a double LP set. Mm -hmm. Expanded for the first time. So I guess they're going to throw the B-Sides out. Cool. Which is cool, man. Because people right. want this shit. Especially, you know, B-Sides in the 90s were huge. Oh, yeah. Because... Well, people took the time back then. They weren't throwaway tracks. Back in the early 80s, it was like, you need a B-Side. Band would fuck around and create something and yeah. just put it out. Then in the 90s, it was they like... Had, they just wrote that much music. Even yeah. in the 70s, they didn't write that much music. No. They wrote the seven to nine, maybe ten songs right. on record. Right. Where the 90s, man, it was just... It was a whole 30, different yeah, ball game. Right. 30 fucking songs. Right. Now we got to whittle this down to 10 to 12. Right. So and then the... Yeah. B-sides and, and then Japanese releases and everything yeah. else. And then we went out and bought I know every everything. CD <laughs> single. The Japan, Australia. Australasia. However right, you say right. that. Oh, I got one extra track over yeah, here. Yeah, well, Australia's got this song. UK's got yeah. this song. Fucking Europe has this song. And as a kid, you're like, aren't Europe and UK the same? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, what, what's not, what about the German one? I know. I had a hundred or better yeah. Earl Jam CD oh, singles. I didn't have that many, but I did go out and Fuck. get a lot of them. 30 bucks a piece sometimes when you're a kid. <laughs> so you saved up all that money to spend 30 bucks on a CD single for one, one song. Track. But I liked when, when you could get uh, cases for them to go in. Like it collected all the singles together. Uh, sure. Nirvana did that for Nevermind. So it was like, you know, buy the individual singles and then you put them that in the box. That was so rare though to I find was. those, man. I know. 
I know. But yeah, no, it was cool. Yeah. It was, yeah, man. It was, we, it was treasure hunting yes. for music as a kid. Oh, yeah. So that's cool. So I'm glad that these B-sides are, are finally coming are together. Fine. Chili Peppers, we're talking to you. That's right. Talking to you, man. I want that. I know that. the 80s B-sides aren't a lot, but oh. that, fuck, your 90s shit. Well, I want the B-sides that they put out uh, from the... I'm, I'm with you or but beside you or what was the name of that album? Well, that was a record store day only release right, on but, Double LP or the 7 me, Inches. I got the 7 give, Inches. Give me the CD of it now. That's been out. You're, you're done with that. It never came out on CD. Maybe I'll burn you one. <laughs> I, oh, wait. My computer doesn't have uh -oh. a fucking CD burner. Yeah, right. <laughs> Chet Baker. Blue Room. All right. More Chet. Never oh, heard of Chet. Chet and Chet. Chet and Chet. Chet and with Chet. <laughs> I'm Chet and with Chet. What is that? <laughs> Baker Gervitz Army. Got, uh, oh yeah! Yeah. Whenever I hear Gervitz, I think Guritz, which is ah, Brett from ah. Black Flag and SST. Adrian Gervitz from The Gun. Ooh, another MTV Unplugged. Yes. Bastille. Who's the? Uh, is that the name of the artist? Yes. Oh, okay. I was just thinking Bastille. I know zero there. about them. I don't either, but it's MTV People Unplugged. Like them. And I guess they were popular enough to end up on MTV. I feel like if I wanted to call somebody <laughs> Bastille, yo Bastille. Yeah. Right. fucking know this oh it's beach house <laughs> they've blown up lately people yeah. are all about them newer band maybe it's just because bruce springsteen joined them on stage and possibly on a record i don't even uh, know but people like them they're on sub pop it's beach house so, ep become and what color vinyl clear oh clear vinyl but it's a club vinyl i was like what is a club vinyl? uh behind the dikes even more <laughs> beat blues and psychedelic nuggets <laughs> This is behind the Dykes three. Okay. <laughs> Twenty five hundred numbered copies on blue and red vinyl. Dykes, but behind the Dykes. I don't even know where this came from. Ted, did we order that? <laughs> behind the Dykes? That's the fan? I don't know what the it's fuck it name, is, but it's, it's, a it's in our order. It's a compilation. I priced it, so what I don't I don't remember us even No, they just threw it in for good measure. We have another <laughs> record we got six of. Yeah. We don't know what it is. Oh yeah. Well this is a Nuggets comp, technically. Okay. Maybe, maybe because kind of it was a Nuggets, nuggets thing, I said, F it, and we got one. Right, it's music on vinyl. Wow. All right. Well, somebody will want it. And just wait, somebody's going to come and be like, hey, man, you got the behind the dikes? <laughs> <laughs> you know why we're laughing. It's Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. <laughs> How can you not? <laughs> it looks like, a, <laughs> looks like a live record. It is live at Levitation. All right. Blind Man, the original motion, motion picture, picture. It's a soundtrack. Soundtrack. Uh, why is this important? First time on vinyl, Blood Splatter Edition, liner notes, musical. I don't remember why I ordered that. Gary Lucas. There's something about it's it. It's got a film poster. I take it for the film poster. Is it, oh, it's a Ringo movie. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's why we ordered it. But the music isn't by Ringo, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, Depending on who you're talking that's to. That's right, that's true. All right, so you know Sky that works for us. Yeah. She uh, she wanted to get a Bluey. Okay. For her little oh. sister, because kids, kids like it. Wait, so, wait, kid, they're, they're releasing kids things for Record Store Day now, too? Steph, what's Bluey? Do you have kids? <laughs> her kids are older than Bluey. But I, I don't, seriously? Like, yeah, so this is a record for kids, because kids are getting into this shit. It comes with a zoo trope. The dancey thing, so yeah, man. Actually, All right. it's not just music, but you could have fun with it also. Wait, what? What is a zoo trope? When it, it spins, the thing, it, it spins animates? and it makes the shits. Yeah. So that's real. I've seen the videos yeah. of that. I thought it was no, it's a real optical shit. Optical illusion. No. I think it was real. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I'm excited. I want to see that for real. I mean, Blur. I want just to do it. It's a cartoon. Oh, okay. Kids cartoon. Well, see, we don't have kids, so <laughs> what do yeah, we? I have? don't know. <laughs> Special collector's edition. Is that the numbering of it? 877 on the front? I, I guess. Individually numbered and signed. I think this was a CD only. Okay. Whoa, what? Said signed? signed by hand. That's a... That's a Individually numbered and signed by hand with platinum. What does that mean? I don't know, but is that's... That computer? So is that a fucking autograph? That's what it says. Is it the whole band's autograph on that record? No, no. It's just this. whoever this person is. Individually numbered and signed by hand. Whatever... I can't see that being the signature. I would say the signature's oh, inside. You think, oh, you think maybe that's inside it. There's a there's an officially... Gotta be, right? Yeah, I see what you're saying. There's probably a thing inside here that has it. Because they put it on the back as well. Yeah, so there's... So inside, there's a an individually numbered and signed. Wow. wow. Imagine all of Blur's autographs are in that thing. 
Satisfaction is guaranteed, it says. Bullshit. <laughs> and it's... It's making you rethink it. No. <laughs> I want some more of that. I want some of my, my bands to put out autographed things. Brown Sabbath. I love this stuff. Blowout Presents. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, Black Sabbath, Sabbath done jazz. It's like jazz Sabbath. But isn't there something called Jazz Sabbath? There is. But this so is what like, is this? This is like uh, soulful jazz. I don't know. But I've got it. And it's good. A CD of it, I mean. So did Brown Sabbath steal from Jazz Sabbath? Or did Jazz Sabbath steal from Brown Sabbath? I have Sabbath? no idea who did it first. Give us some... Answer us in the comments. That's a question for everybody out there. Brown who Sabbath. robbed from who? And then ultimately they robbed from Black Sabbath. So. Which is okay. Yeah. Everybody steals from Sabbath. <laughs> but you can't steal from the person that stole from Sabbath. <laughs> you have to steal directly from Sabbath. <laughs> so if you're an unknown tribute band like if you're jazz sabbath and right. then you come out and you're brown sabbath which is just because you couldn't take jazz sabbath because they were jazz sabbath already took so, jazz, whatever now there's yeah there's some reason that they're called brown sabbath i i want to say it's like you know they're all african-american they shit their pants i know i don't know they, i don't know but i like it it's good i've got a cd of it it's it's definitely interesting takes of of the stuff canned heat Ooh, canned heat vintage i can my heat motherfucker <laughs> 1971. All right, that's an exclusive. That what is an exclusive. Oh. This is cool. The yeah. audio is excellent. If you're a Beefheart fan, do it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do what I want to do live at my father's place, only okay. available on CD. Heavily bootlegged through the years. First time on um, vinyl. First time on LP. This is probably the best I've heard it sound over all the CDs. The 1978 tour. Yeah, super cool, man. Tiny room. So definitely. All right. Do the beef heart. Do the beef heart. Belinda Carlisle wow. remixes. Nice. Um, Good cover. It looks. I'm hoping that they're all the old remixes. They didn't really do it. Oh, do new. do it new. Yeah, it's uh, clear vinyl. There it is, Eric Carr. Yep. St way too many people are excited about this. I, I knew the I, excitement was going to be high, but not as high really? as it is. Yeah. I, Somebody I from Eric Carr's I family think... called me today. Really? Yeah. It was I, very strange. Yeah to talk about this. Um, Alex Chilton live in Anvers. Nice. Alex Chilton live in Anvers. <laughs> There's another one. What's this? Oh, uh, the 11th house? No, no, no. You tell me about it. I don't know. Some classic uh, hippie shit. Yeah, 1974 Godfather of Fusion, according to these people. Look at the band on the back side of that. We try to get everything without getting everything because some stuff we just don't know what it is. There's a ton of stuff. It's, I think it said jazz and like we just said let's get the jazz stuff because people complain that we don't have enough jazz stuff so yeah. we get enough jazz stuff nobody buys the nobody jazz stuff up. and then I get the jazz stuff anyway and we still have too much jazz stuff but it's here. Yeah, it's here. You yeah. guys want it. And it's it's a hard thing because you never know what to get. Uh, is that cream? That's not cream cream. It's John Craigie. Oh, Craigie. <laughs> it looked like it said cream. We Anybody know what a John Craigie is? I don't know, but he's uh, he's doing some Sgt. Peppers here. Recorded in 2017. Two LP set. Okay. I don't know. It's okay to rip off from, from the major artists. Though. Another Cure picture disc. They did which... one last go round, right? Yeah, yeah and then they did a, the standard black vinyl after, so I'm assuming okay. that get your picture disc now before it's gone. Mm -hmm. if you are into picture discs. Yeah. And again, with the quality of picture discs now, these things sound great. Those mm -hmm. last couple Cure picture discs are, are fucking righteous, man. Yeah. Yeah. Wish. Yeah. The quality is the same between the black and the picture disc. Okay. You know. Yeah, so picture discs used to not be They suck. To... Oh, it was oh. horrible. Okay. You put those things on, it was Rice Krispies, man. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out. I've got some old picture discs from back in the early 90s, and I've never played them next to... Pull out a 70s. Okay, really 80s bad. picture disc. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Diabolic. Decent hip-hop record. Check it out. Liar and a Thief. Dirty Projectors with Bjork. With the Bjork? The Bjork. Okay. The not, Projectors. Not Bjork. The Bjork. Um, December's plan. Or dismemberment plan. The dismemberment plan. I, <laughs> I like it. The Decemberist. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> like I said, a little bit of everything. Willie Dixon. It's okay. Willie Dixon. Been I, out of print for a long time. I know who Willie Dixon is. Which is, you know, it's pretty cool. 
I was I'm reading a Robbie Krieger's book, and he talks oh. about hanging out and yeah. writing a song with Willie Dixon while oh, he really? played the cardboard percussion on his big round belly. <laughs> um, Eric Dolphy, jazz, three LP set. It's heavy. Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Dope. Dope. All I know, these guys did porn. Okay. Or what? they were in porn. Really? You remember that shit? No, I had no idea. They were like a hard rock them band. At all? And Exclusive dope. Porn? <laughs> yeah. Clear red vinyl. It's just not uh, white. Yeah, people no, are on. People like them, man. But all I remember them for is porn. <laughs> That's what all Not I that can... they themselves did the porn. I just oh. remember naked people all oh, around that and pushed that. It was like. Like, I can't listen to Biohazard anymore because of Evan Seinfeld doing porn with I try his not wife. to think about that. Yeah. I don't think about it because the you know, urban discipline is yeah. hard. I love that album. Uh, Forever <laughs> Voiceless oh, by Brian, Brian Eno. Eno. Very cool. An instrumental edition of the critically acclaimed 2022 album. It's an instrumental version. Here we have okay. Enslaved. I'm glad you were able to read that. I had to look that, at the spine. <laughs> that would have been one of those ones. Flock of Seagulls EP. Oh, or not stuff. EP, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's uh, B-sides, single edits, and shit like that yeah. to go with the recent anniversary I, I of like that it, record. Right, right. I like it when they pare it down to just the album like that. Yes. To, the CD, it's like I gotta buy three discs just to get that. Yup. Jerry Garcia, another live Garcia. Okay, how you know, sweet it is. We're into that. Generation X reissue. How Interesting, they, they did this like the UK. Uh-huh. Anything different about this? Top loader? No, it's just it's uh, remastered. And this is the it's yellow vinyl, heavy heavyweight yellow. This vinyl. is the UK track listing. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, your generation's not on there. Yeah, a little something. Different. So I'm excited about that mm -hmm. actually. Um, Gong. Yeah, another band I've never been able to get into. I mean, I love my prog, but uh, this is Live and Lion, 1972. Hawkwind Live. Ooh, that one looks cool. Alan Wolf also. Live and cooking. You can tell them at the end of my rope here, right? I'm just pulling <laughs> No, I <out>. know. <laughs> it's just so, so many. Well, we're, we're Booster for, do live. 46 minutes into this. <laughs> Probably lost half of the people. <laughs> uh, in this moment, beautiful tragedy. Right. People are really excited for the Billy Joel live at the Great American Music Hall. 1975. Elton John, Don't Shoot the Piano Player, includes original album and lyric oh. book. Oh, plus newly compiled LP of session demos. That was not in the description. Like the yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you're that, reading well, it. I was now pissed. you're excited. I'm like, man. Original just, album and lyric book. In my brain, it was like a Stones thing. Why yeah. you put it out? It's available, right? Right. But I, I like the demos thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jesus go. Jones, live in Chicago. Oh, that's cool. I like them. What's that? Jim Jones, hip hop. Okay. B.B. King. A lot of blues titles this There's year. Lot, like the, yeah, the, the heavy hitters, too. Right. Blues Willie Dixon, mm -hmm. Muddy Waters, B.B. King. Right. Carol King. <laughs> get all the kings. Get, get the kings, baby. Kings Another and, kitty release. Kings and kitties. Fucking kitty. <laughs> Luna Coil? Lacuna Coil. Oh, There's two Lacuna, Lacuna Coil. Coil releases. And then we have the London Suede Demos. Ooh. All right, so that's through crates. Okay, and then... And you... now let's just run through this box real quick. All right. This is the stuff that just came in. Yeah. All right. What so we... we have Bjork. Okay. We have Art Blakey. We have the Black Girl, Keys. Hang on, you can... uh, cranberries. All right. Anything? Miles Davis. Transparent Around vinyl. the, uh, on the corner yeah. sessions, which is pretty cool. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Brain salad surgery. Picture, picture disc. disc. Garbage. EP. What's on uh, Witness to Your Love? Uh, the fucking Magnetic Fields. The 1975 with an orchestra. Cool. Live records cool. or orchestra. That's what you do when you run out of ideas. Right. BBC. Motley Crue, Helter Skelter, 12 inch. It's. Well, it looks cool. I, I just. There's no picture bonus disc lover. No, yeah. nothing. So I don't, I don't get into it for that. But when I was a kid, man, I loved that. I would have bought that in a heartbeat. I would have stayed away from it because, yeah, yeah I just. I don't know. I fucking hate it. I've always hated picture discs. Oh, I love. I guess hate's discs. a strong yeah. word. I just don't. I don't like them. I don't want yeah. them. I get. I've always known they sounded like crap. So maybe that was a big part of it. I just liked anything that was limited or different. Uh, okay, I, I get that. All right, there's a limited edition album that came out. Or, you know, packaging. I had to have it. All right. Joe Strummer, Street Core, Color, the newest remaster, and then white vinyl. We Taylor Swift again, which we have. 
more tables. A lot of, we have plenty. All right. So that's pretty much it for now. There's still more rolling yeah, in. We're a so week out. I didn't see And there's any... just way too many still coming right, in right. the door that should have been here already. So I know like one I was interested in is there's a Yes Live album from 72. So is that something? That I hope so. Hope that trickles in. It's got to trickle in. Okay. Um, what other things you, you don't know. My, no. I'm fried. I have yeah. no idea. Nope. Don't know. Don't <laughs> care. Come on, on Saturday, we'll <laughs> care at that time and we'll have them. You know, when it's all here yeah. and I, right. I can have a better idea and then right, right. account for everything that we're going to have, that's going to go out. Then, you know, I totally hear you. Yeah. I'll have my head better wrapped around it. Right. Right. But 50 minutes to run through what you've got. And then that's and just, there's still, and there's still more. And it's still this trickling. Possibly half. Right. Maybe a little. Ted, would you say this is half of our titles? Probably more than half. Yeah. So, yeah, a little over half. Right. All right. Well, more to come, guys. And certainly uh, head out to your local record stores on Saturday and see what else they've got. But this gives you a preview of it and uh, lets you know, uh, you know, hopefully spikes your interest in some of this stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Thanks hopefully for watching, see you man. on Saturday.